Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rafael, I come from Germany, and I'm an environmental engineer here at Sherco. Today, I'm gonna show you how to weld and prepare all the materials for Sherco's biogas digester. We shall start with uh, all the necessary materials that we need in order to prepare um, the PVC. Most important thing is the measuring tape. Without a measuring tape, we can't determine the right length and uh, the right width. Is it width? Yeah, I think so. Um, of the PVC, so we need the measuring tape. We need a, a permanent pencil to uh, draw the lines on where to cut the PVC. And then, of course, we just need a cutter to cut all the materials. For the second step, which includes welding, we need our favorite tool, it's the heat gun from a Swiss company. This one is really important. Um, safety first, so we need the safety gloves to protect ourselves from burning our skin. And very important as well is the roller to roll or to, to press all the PVC together. And last but not least, also very important is this little piece of wood for welding. Otherwise we would weld um, all the PVC together and we don't want to weld the bottom and the top of the PVC bag together. So we can continue just with preparing the PVC. We are forced to cut it into little pieces, um, usually the dimensions 3 meter 60 and uh, 2 meter 50 wide. So length to 3 meter 60 and wide um, 2 meter 50. Um, you don't have to, to change uh, the width of the material because usually the roll comes in 2 meter 50 so you don't have to change anything there. After you cut all the materials into little pieces of 3 meter 60 and uh, 2 meter 50. It is important to draw some more lines onto the material. As you might see here, that already, we already prepared 10 centimeter or lines that are 10 centimeters away from the edge. Um, this is very important to do it on both um, 3 meter 60 sides just to, to have an orientation for the main weld of the biogas system. Once this is all done, um, the preparation of the material is ready and then we can start the welding. It is the top of the bag, so right now it's on the bottom. Um, we have the wooden board here and that the non-shiny side is also to looking at you, express it like this. Then fold over one side, here is the line. We just took a smaller piece of PVC for the sake of simplification and fold over the other side as well. There we go. Um, look or ensure that all the lines are pretty close together and please ensure this one is a really bad piece that there are not too many wrinkles or bubbles in the PVC material. Once this is done it is time to get a second person. Our welding is not a task that can be done by one person alone. So I'm just going to organize me a little welding assistant and then we can continue. Really important before you start the welding is to wait for the heat gun until it is really really hot. Otherwise the weld will not work. So usually the position of the controller, of the heat controller here, you can see it. It's between 4 and 6. I prefer welding around 5. It's a good temperature. Lift the PVC, as I said, the shiny side should be outside. Lift the PVC, prepare the roller, roller onto it, onto it, like this. Go underneath it and heat it, heat it, heat it, heat it, heat it, heat it, heat it up. For approximately four to six seconds, because it's the first well, I usually do it a bit longer. The gun is not that hot. And then remove it and just press on it really hard. Okay, once this is done, just lift it again and continue your work. So this is how it's supposed to look in the end, um, all welded together. Once this is done from one side, from the shiny side, is it, it's time to turn it to the non-shiny side. So just flip it through it 
And now it looks like this. You can't see the lines anymore, but you can see the non-shiny side of the material. Insert the board again between the bottom layer and the top layer. And now it is very important to ensure the quality of the weld. Um, as you can see, I'm going underneath the material with my index finger and I try to push under the weld. And as long as I can still push under the weld and into the material, the weld is not strong enough. So just do it here on the whole line. Yeah, you can hear the sound. It's pretty good. It doesn't move at all. Just go underneath everything here. It's not too good. On the whole side, just like this. You see, it's not good here. If you move underneath it, it's not strong enough. Once this is done, yeah, looks pretty good. Um, it's time to fire up the heat gun again and just do the same thing as we did on the other side, but now we do it on the non-shiny side. Try to avoid bubbles and wrinkles. This doesn't increase the stability of the weld. And roll over it again. Make it really, really, really tight. And then just continue over the whole 3 meter 60. So once this is all done on this side, um, next step is to weld the edges. So once we can't remove the PVC like this here, it looks pretty good. You can still feel that there is like a, 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 a tiny resistance if you're going over the material. Here you can even see you can just bend it for five millimeters. So the next step is fire up the heat gun again and weld the edges. Now they start to melt. Now go over it. High pressure. And then just continue over the whole 3 meter 60 again. So in the end, here you can see a very, very good weld, edge weld. You can go over it and it just feels like one piece of material. Um, as long as you can still feel it, the resistance like here, you can still feel it, or even here, you can, you can move it here, like, like this, that's very bad. So this is how it's supposed to look like in the end from this side. Here it's also pretty good, here is also pretty good. And wherever you get these uh, resistances, go over with a heat gun again. Once the inside of the bag is completed and all the edges here are welded inside the bag, it's time to turn the bag from the inside to the outside again, to the side with the lines. Um, and basically what we're doing here is exactly the same as we did on the inside earlier. And once you welded this side again, it's time to weld the edges here again. So just take the heat gun, do not touch the material, wait until it slowly starts to melt. And now there you go. Go over it. Now you can feel it's pretty soft here from both sides. Still pretty hot, but that's how it's supposed to look like in the end.